This is what Costa Rica looks like. Welcome back to Costa Rica! We're Eric and Sarah and we've been traveling through Latin America for the past year and we picked up some tips and tricks along the way. But our number one question before coming to Costa Rica is, was should we rent a car? And we've read very mixed reviews online so we wanted to investigate for ourselves and figure out whether it's worth it to rent a car in Costa Rica. So while we're here in Costa Rica we're traveling with Sarah's brother, his wife and their 11 month old son. <laughs> so we've rented a car for the next three weeks just to see for ourselves what it's like. Later in this video, we'll be showing a lot of pros and cons. We'll share the cost, we'll share who we went with. But for right now, our goal is to show you our experience of whether or not it's worth it for you to rent a car in Costa Rica. So let's get started. Oh, by the way, before we get going, if you're not subscribed to our channel, make sure to do that now because in every country we go to, we show you a series of videos called The Month In, and we always share helpful tips about where to go, what you should do, and how to do it, how much things cost. So you don't want to miss any of our Costa Rica videos. So make sure to subscribe right now. So we don't really describe ourselves as purely budget travelers. However, I think whenever somebody's traveling, just about everybody's on a budget. So when we flew from Guatemala to Costa Rica, it was actually cheaper for us to fly into San Jose rather than Liberia, even though Liberia is closer to the coast where we were trying to go, uh, and it was cheaper for us to go into San Jose. However, the opposite was true for Jeremy and Lauren. So we actually ended up renting a car and going from San Jose to Liberia. It took us about four hours, and uh, now we've been spending some time here on Playa del Coco, and it's beautiful right here. We're just sitting here for sunset, and I think we have Sarah way over there on the beach, doing something. <laughs> doing some sort of Sasquatch walk. <laughs> well, it's already time to say goodbye to Playa del Coco. We just picked up our new SUV for rental for the next couple weeks and since there's four of us we have so much stuff and uh, I don't know if we got in a big enough vehicle to be honest because it's like absolutely packed to the gills <laughs> but we're on our way to Santa Teresa and it's time to go ready to go sir Real quick, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video, which is Skillshare. Look, traveling is super fun and there are so many different experiences to be had. And if you're anything like us, you wanna be able to show those experiences to your friends and family back home. You're probably not gonna be bringing a laptop, but you have a decent camera on your phone. The only thing is, you don't really know how to use it. And that's where Skillshare comes in. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes to help you expand your creativity. For example, to level up our own phone photography, we've been learning from Sean Dalton about how to edit photos on our phone efficiently, quickly, and also just make them look more professional. Again, maybe you're traveling right now, maybe you don't have a laptop with you and you just have your phone. Well, that's perfect because Skillshare also has a mobile app. So you can just take your phone, take a photo on that phone, learn how to edit on that phone, and then send that photo home from your phone. So if you're interested in joining Skillshare, the first 1,000 subscribers to click the link in the description or use our code, the bombs away, will get access to a one month free trial to Skillshare and you can start expanding your creativity today. rental car for about a week now and one of the major pros that we've realized is just the freedom we have to be able to just do whatever we want in the day 
For example, today we actually went on a day trip here from Santa Teresa to Montezuma Waterfall and we were just able to go on our own and explore the waterfall for as long as we wanted, not have to figure out any sort of transportation to get there and back. And even here in Santa Teresa, it's kind of spread out, so it's nice to have a car to be able to even go and get groceries or explore different beaches. So that's been a major pro for us, is just having the freedom to not have to sort out like any sort of bus, taxi, or those kind of things. It's just nice to be able to go where you want, when you want, and yeah, not have to feel bad even if it's just a little trip for like half an hour, you know? Uh, but a con that we've realized is that you kind of need to have a plan for your whole trip. And we're not really used to that. We're used to just kind of planning as we go. But we've realized that if you, if you don't kind of have most of your trip planned out, then the car can often end up just sitting for days at a time if you're not using it. And we've noticed that, especially in these beach towns, sometimes we just feel like spending the whole day at the beach so the car doesn't get used, but you can't really rent a car for like two days on then two days off and keep returning in and getting a new one, if that makes sense. So you kind of have to just be prepared to commit to having it for the whole length of your trip, if that makes sense. So just something to take into consideration if you decide whether to rent a car or not. <laughs> Well, today's road trip includes driving from Santa Teresa all the way to Monteverde. And you can definitely tell that we're here in the dry season because it's a lot more dead and brown, but the further we get and closer we get to Monteverde, the more green it gets. We're climbing up through the mountains and it is so, so beautiful. This drive is amazing. Okay, we were getting really nervous on the coast because we found out it was the dry season and honestly everything was super brown and we were really nervous that we weren't going to see any green. But now that we're here in Monteverde, seriously, this is insane. Like this is so much green. This is the Costa Rica that we came for. <laughs> So now that we're in the mountains, we're really gonna be able to test whether or not it was worth it for us to rent a car here in Costa Rica because when we were on the beach, there was a lot more down days and a lot more beach days, whereas here in the mountains, things are more spread apart. So really, you're gonna be going on a lot more day trips like to here into the Santa Elena Cloud Forest. Oh, it's so beautiful so, here. So beautiful. It's so great. We're just on a bridge <laughs> over some water. It's so nice. Oh, this is it's so amazing. nice. Just happy to be here. <laughs> La Fortuna. We've actually been here for a week now and my parents and one of my sisters joined us and they decided to rent a car as well. This beautiful sedan. Nice guy. But yeah, they've been driving around in a car all week and have we've had no issues like needing a 4x4. So if you're renting a car here, don't worry that you need 4x4 because most of the roads are really good. The clearance of our other SUV is a little bit nicer for the big potholes, but you can totally get by with just a car in any place that we visited so far. So driving in Costa Rica is really quite simple. I would say it's comparable to driving back home. Really like, I know some people are maybe scared to drive in Latin American countries because they hear the roads are crazy, but everyone drives pretty normal. Like it's not really that crazy. Maybe every so often you have someone who passes you on a corner, but you know what? That happens sometimes at home too. Um, and maybe also certain areas are a little bit more narrow. Like it, when we were driving up to Monteverde, super narrow and windy, but you really just gotta take your time. And really, if you're a confident driver, it's not that difficult. So after having the car for about three weeks, I think we can confidently say that it is well worth it for, at least for us, 
to have rented a car. There's four of us and a baby, and it's been really nice to not have to search out, price out, and book different shuttles or buses. And honestly, for us, it's been super nice not to have to walk around with our backpacks on our front and our back <laughs> just to uh, just to get around. We can just throw it in the car and we're good to go. Uh, so for us, because there's four of us, it's totally worth it. And the biggest thing that we would recommend is to book your rental cars early. We rented our car about two months in advance and it, was, it came out to $72 a day and we have now since booked another car because of the freedom and independence that, that we like to have now here in Costa Rica. <laughs> I never thought I would hear ourselves <laughs> saying that. Um, it, now it's about $100 a day because we booked it later. So it's a difference of about $30. Um, so again, it kind of depends on your budget. If there's one or two of you, maybe it's not so worth it. But because there's been four of us, uh, you know, we've been able to split it and it's, and it's been okay. So if you made it this far in the video, you're probably wondering, so how do we actually rent a car in Costa Rica and where should we rent from? So if you come to Costa Rica, it's often one of the biggest problems here is that people feel like they get scammed by car companies. And the main reason this happens is because they'll go through some big company online and then when they get here to Costa Rica, they end up having way more charges put on top. So even for my parents, they originally got a quote from a different company and it it was gonna end up being almost twice as much when they actually arrived here because in Costa Rica there is a there is a mandatory car insurance that has to be added onto your thing no matter what your credit card covers. A lot of people get here and then they feel like they get scammed, which is what you definitely want to avoid. So after doing a bunch of research, we ended up finding a guy named Jairo and he has this company called Car Rentals Costa Rica and USA and we'll link it below for you. And this is not a promotion for him or anything. We are not getting sponsored by him. We just actually really love his services. So his whole thing is that there's no hidden fees. So if you rent a car from him, he'll give you a quote. And when you show up here, the price that he gave you is the price you pay. And we have now rented four, four different cars four different here. Cars, yeah. And we can attest to that being true. So it's really nice. And it's really nice that we've been able to have him available when we need to call someone. We've had a couple issues with our cars and we've he's been able to just like contact on WhatsApp. Deal, we don't have to deal with anything. We literally yeah. just text him or call him and say, hey, something's not working out. Yeah. And he says, okay, I'll call you back in 20 minutes and in 20 minutes it's solved. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty sweet. Honestly. So nice to have somebody like on the ground that's ready to help you at any point. So we highly recommend um, looking into his services if you're gonna rent a car here. He does work alongside Alamo, so you end up renting a car through Alamo, but he's able to get you the best price. And yeah, one thing we would say is definitely Regardless of this, just always make sure to check your receipts and check everything on your reservations. We had a couple times where we showed up and the dates were wrong or a few things were wrong um, in the charges that we got on our credit card. So always just check all those things, but otherwise this is a great, great way to not feel like you get scammed in Costa Rica. <laughs> Well, the time has come to finally return our rental car. <laughs> the last one. For the rest of our trip, we're gonna be using the buses, which the one bonus of navigating the buses and public transportation is you do get to interact with a lot more yeah. locals, so we are excited for that part. That's right, but it's been super nice to be able to rent a car, at least for the first few weeks of our trip here, uh, especially because we've been traveling with family as well. Like we said, with Sarah's brother and sister and their baby, we've been able to go around really easily and they haven't had to navigate buses or anything. So for us, it's totally been worth it to rent a car. Yeah, definitely with four people, 100% worth it, yeah, I would right. say. Yeah. yeah, and if you have any questions about renting a car yes. in Costa Rica, please let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear what you thought of this video. Yeah. And if you have further questions, we'll be answering them there. That's right. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> why, why are you recording? <laughs> <laughs> it's all about new angles. Gross.